a reminder senior Mark Kiss sees every day when he walks into the wrestling room, national champions individually and as a team. Kiss has not always been a knight. For two years of his college career, he was a cyclone at Iowa State before transferring to Warburg. The biggest reason was just the coaches. When I came and hung out here, just the coaches and the guys were just, they're like a family here. So I'm just real comfortable around everybody. Our first thoughts when we, we knew Mark Kiss was coming, I still remember it. I was walking down Main Street in Cedar Falls in a coffee shop, and he called me with the news. I did a cartwheel. I'm not kidding. That's how excited we were, though. I'm not kidding. Coming out of high school, Kiss was a three-time state champion and a junior national champ, the highest level in high school wrestling. From freshman year to senior year, Mark's goals have not changed. They haven't. They've been, they've been the same. That's to win a national title and win team titles every year. I know he hasn't completely gotten what he's won out of the deal yet. I mean, the guy came here to win a national title, and that's obviously the goal for this year. And um, He's going to do everything he can in his power to get that done, and so are we. Coach Eric Keller adds that there is additional pressure on the mats for Kiss. Him being a 125-pounder, you know, he's the guy that starts pretty much every duel um, in every tournament for us for the most part. And so, um, and it's, it's, it's been great having a guy that goes out there right away and, and takes care of business. With only three and a half months left, Kiss knows what he would like to do with his future. I plan on going to, on a coach myself, and so being here with Coach Miller and Keller and Ortner and all those guys, I've learned how to, I mean, I've been around the best coaches in the country, so that, that'll definitely benefit me later on. Because he wants to be a wrestling coach, I think he pays close attention to the, to the details. You know, I mean, he's kind of studied the sport, kind of studied the, the coaching side of it. He'll, he'll be good. He'll be good. We've already had people. I mean, there's been several places that have called about him, high school level and college level. You know, he's, he's going to be highly sought after, and finding a job for him is not going to be, not gonna, it's going to be which one. With wrestling season coming to an end, Kiss definitely has set his priorities. I want to go out on top, you know, both individually and team-wide. To think we only have a month left, it's, it's kind of shocking. It'll be hard. It'll be hard. Like, like I said, I mean, me and him have a pretty close personal relationship, you know, outside of wrestling. So it'll be, it'll definitely be, it'll be hard. Kissed has nearly 30 wins so far this season on his road to a national championship. Reporting for Sports Night, I'm Shelby Grenell. Danny Stiefel under center. He's looking to pick up a first down. Back to pass Stiefel. Throws it down the field. Has a receiver. Helbling with the catch and a first down for Warburg in Rams territory at the 38. For senior quarterback Danny Stiefel, Warburg has not always been his home. He attended two other colleges before transferring to Warburg his junior year. He's been a, a great fit here uh, from a, a variety of different standpoints. He's obviously perform well on the field, but he's also meshed very well with our guys. The 2010 season was a very successful one for Stiefel and the Knights as they went 10-1 and one overall. Once we were winning, it was kind of nice because if I was losing, then people would be like, well, is he really that good? Is he worth playing? But you know, I was winning, so I mean, everyone was behind me and it was kind of nice. I didn't have to worry about any criticism. In his first season as a Knight, Stiefel passed for over 2,000 yards and had 12 touchdowns. He also had six rushing touchdowns himself. Back to pass, Danny Stiefel, three steps, now he'll step up and run. 25, 30, 25, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, and all the way to the 35-yard line as Danny Stiefel found the opening and he took off. Danny's passion for the game of football started at a very young age. I started playing tackle football when I was eight years old, and uh, I really wanted to be a running back when I was younger, but my dad told me, no, you're, that's, you're not fast enough. Luckily, Danny's lack of speed has worked in his favor. With only five games under his belt so far this season, Stiefel already has 1,148 passing yards and six touchdowns. So how would Danny describe himself as a player? Say I'm more of a pro-style quarterback. Uh, I'm not really one that's just going to run around all over the place. I'm just going to sit back in the pocket and throw the ball. He's a, a pretty traditional pocket passer. I say he has a strong arm and he throws the deep ball better than most. His movement is good enough to get him out of trouble and keep things alive and give us a chance to make a play when maybe something breaks down. According to Coach Willis, Stiefel is very coachable and he is definitely the type of player a coach wants on a team. 
He brings leadership, confidence, ability. He's an outstanding passer, and I think he brings integrity. He's a guy that we're proud to have in our program, and I think is a good representative of, of what we're doing. Even though Stiefel has only been a Knight for two seasons, he is still able to come up with a favorite memory. Last year when we beat Central College, we won the IAC Conference. When we had that 90-yard drive to win the game, basically, and then our defense blocked the field goal at the end to win it. That was probably the best memory. Coach Willis, on the other hand, does not have a favorite memory of Danny. Hopefully that favorite memory is going to happen here in the next six weeks. And at the end of the day. We feel fortunate that it worked out for him to be here. And I think hopefully when it's all said and done, it will have been, a, you know, kind of a win-win situation. Something that's been good for Warburg football and something that's been good, you know, for Danny Stiefel. Humorous, dedicated leader. These are three words that coach Jennifer Walker uses to describe senior volleyball player Nicole Beer. When I think about Nicole Beer, I think of a lot of the positive things that she does for our program. She's an exciting player. I think that she is committed to her teammates and I think that she she goes out and she plays hard and she gives us everything she's got every time she goes out there and coaches can't really ask for more than that. One thing that Coach Walker especially likes about Nicole is her sense of humor. Humor for sure. She's a funny entertaining person. Um, she keeps a good balance with our team. But just... <laughs> uh, I just like to have fun you know it's it's easier to get girls on the sidelines pumped up and talking if we're just having fun and we're not necessarily goofing around but our silliness is towards the game. I don't know of anybody that doesn't like beer, so um, I think in that regard, she's a, she's a great member of our team. Volleyball has not always been Nicole's passion. As a matter of fact, I actually did not like volleyball when I first started playing. I almost considered going out for cross country, but it's a lot different playing for a team sport than it is individual. And, I really like the team aspect of it and being able to be with a group of people and accomplish a goal. And Coach Walker says Nicole's goals have changed with this being her final year. I think now um, her goals would be just consistency in her play and elevating her play every time she gets out there. It's a different kind of urgency when you're a senior and to make sure that you are on your game every single time because your time is fleeting. Saying goodbye is not something Nicole is looking forward to doing. I don't like really talking about it. it uh, we, Camille and me cried the other day in practice a little bit, but um, it's going to be sad. Coach Walker feels the same way. I think I'll miss Beer a lot. Um, again, I think part of the relationship that we've developed, that isn't just on the court, it's off the court. I think when she's finally gone and graduated and I don't see her in the halls anymore, that's probably when it's really going to sink in. So what is Nicole going to take away from her four years of playing volleyball at Warburg? I think I'm going to take away a lot of leadership skills and being able to you know, communicate with a lot of people and just teamwork in general and being able to work in groups and work with other girls. Since Nicole's the only senior on the team who has played at Wartburg all four years, it will be especially hard to see her leave. But Coach Walker is still able to put a smile on her face. I just know when I look back on her time here, um, it's going to be with, with a smile and with enjoyment of having her in our program. Reporting for Sports Night, I'm Shelby Granath. For senior football player Garrett McGrain, Warburg has not always been his home, and football has not always been his preferred sport. Well, my first year, I went to DMAC um, in Des Moines, and I played basketball there. You know, I really love football, and that's kind of one of the reasons I transferred, because you, know, you can go play basketball whenever you want, but you really can't strap on pads and play. Not only did McGrain change schools and sports, he also changed positions. When I came here, they said I was either going to be a receiver or a safety. And I started at receiver for like a week or two, and I wasn't too smart with the play calling, so I moved, they moved me to safety. In his first year, he was, uh, he was a little rough in terms of his footwork and his technique. And early on, you know, he was a guy that we were just trying to see if he could play defense, and now he's become one of our best players on defense. Being successful on defense would be an understatement when describing McGrain. In his two seasons playing varsity, he has nine interceptions. Including four pick sixes. Three blocked punts. 
and 151 tackles. The big play making ability that he has is something that you don't always find in guys. You can only coach a guy to do so much and at some point he's got to be able to make those type of plays and that's something that, that Garrett has. I'm always out there trying to make a big play and sometimes it costs me, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes Garrett can get a little emotional. If you ask any of my teammates, they'd definitely say I'm a hothead out there. There's times when I have to get on the headphones with Garrett during the game, like, hey, you need you to calm down. So that's kind of the thing about Garrett is um, having that edge and that toughness bring something to the table you don't have from everybody. But at the same time, there's, there's certain points where you got to try and, you know, reel them in a little bit and keep them under control. Being a hothead is not the only thing McGrain and Coach Winter agree on. One memory of Garrett stands out to both of them. Last year when we beat Central, last year over at Central. Even in high school, you know, I won a state championship, but honestly, like, uh, that memory just compares us right up there. That day was one of my most proud days as a coach, just being able to beat Central on their field, winning the Iowa Conference Championship. Even though Garrett McGrain is a senior, his time here at Warburg might not be over. Since he started playing football his sophomore year, he still has one year of eligibility. Mostly everyone I know wants me to come back, especially the coaches. We'll see if he if he'll utilize that. If he did, that'd make me very happy. It'd make my job a lot easier. Since I'm going to grad school, I have to go to school for three more years. So that's pretty much the only thing that's uh, holding me back from staying here. And if he doesn't return next year, it'd be a big deal on our back end. Just the leadership he's shown, the physical play that we get from him, the toughness when he's done with his time here, he's going to leave a big hole. It'll be tough when he when he leaves. He's one of those guys that uh, that I feel like every week I can count on to be able to go out there and, and play. And uh, you know you don't always have that. If this is his final season as a Knight, McGrain knows he will take away much more than simply playing football. Since I came here, you know, I don't regret anything. I love football and I love playing for Warburg. Just the environment, you know, the family and friendships that I've made here. It's just all been a great experience and I think I'll never, you know, live a day without thinking about either friends I've made here or just uh, lessons I've learned here.